Okay, question four, use the following figure to find the measure of each arc. So we're given 55, so that's 55. These are vertical angles, so that's 55, that's 55. And I'm just gonna fill in the whole thing while we're at it. So if we have half of a circle here, that's 180, right? So 180 minus 55, this one is 125. And that means this is 125. Okay, let's see what it's asking for. We have arc V to S. Oh, we just found that one. It's 125. All right, arc R to V to S. That's half. So that's 180. 125, 180. Oh, it put the degree in for me, so I don't have to. Okay, two more. V, T, R. Let's see. Here's V. Where's T? Oh, it's this way. Oh, I didn't want to do that. V all the way around to T and then R. So basically, it's the whole circle minus this 55. So I'm going to take 360 minus that 55 and get 305. And then last one. That was 305. RST. So where's R? Where's S? And then T's this way. So we're going this way. R. S, T. So that's the whole circle minus this chunk of 125. So I'm going to do 360 minus 125, which is 235.